Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to explain the super function in Python. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If I could have just a moment of your time, please like, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Well then, since you clicked on this video, I should probably discuss the super function. Now, the super function is used to give access to the methods of a parent class. It returns a temporary object of a parent class when used. Here's an example of why the super function would be useful. Let's take this program that I've written. There's three classes, a class called rectangle, which is the parent class to two children classes, square and cube. And all we're doing is creating a square object and a cube object, but we need to pass in a length and a width for squares and a length, width, and height for cubes. Now with programming, we don't like to repeat code, we like to reuse code. And if you take a look within my init methods for both square and cube, we're repeating self.length equals length and self.width equals width twice for our init methods. So one thing that we can do, any similarities between the square and cube class, we can place within the rectangle class and then reuse this code. So what I'm going to do is copy this init method within our square class and paste it within our rectangle parent class. And then in order to access this init method, we can use the super function. So we no longer need these two lines of code. What I'm going to do is ask the rectangle class to use its init method. So we're going to type super parentheses dot and then the name or the function of the parent class that we would like to use. And I would like to use the init method, but I need to send a length and a width because it requires that. So let's send these. So we're going to pass in our length and our width. And now we can do the same thing for our cube init method. So I will copy this line of code. We no longer need these two lines of code because we will be reusing our init method within the parent class of rectangle, but we'll still need to keep this line in to assign the height because that's a difference between our square and cube class. And now we can just reuse this init method within the rectangle parent class. Now I'm thinking that we should probably test to see if length and width are assigned to these attributes. And one way that I think would be fun would be to create an area method for squares and a volume method for cubes. So let's define an area method within the square class def area. And I would like to return self dot length times self dot width. And we can create a volume method within cubes. So let's do that. DEF, let's change this to volume. We'll multiply it length times width times height. But we need to type self dot height. And we can call these methods to get the area of a square or the volume of a cube. Let's print square dot area and then cube dot volume. So if our init method is actually being used, we should have a length and the width assigned to these attributes. And it looks like we do. In conclusion, the super function is used to give access to the methods of a parent class. It returns a temporary object of a parent class when used in order to access the methods of the parent class, also known as a super class. And in this example, within the init methods of both square and cube, we immediately called the init method of the parent class to pass in some arguments that both of these classes have in common. So if you'd like a copy of this code, I will post all of this in the comment section down below. But yeah, that is how the super function works in Python. Hey you, yeah, I'm talking to you. If you learned something new, then help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.